Hello, in this video we are going to learn if function and end function combinations together. So this is going to be a bit tricky. Okay, we have prepared three examples for this and let's start with the first one. Okay, before going into the if function combinations, let's see how end function works. So end function returns us a, a false or true a value if uh, our criteria are met. For example, this is smaller than 6 and this equals to boy. So both uh, logical com comparison are correct. So this end function turns true. This is valid for uh, when we use it in if function. So let's look at our example. We have names, we have genders, and their ages here. And we find we want to find the, the people we are, who are girls and older than eight years old. And the question asks us to write yes if gender is girl and age is bigger than eight for each person. And otherwise we are going to write no. Okay. Let's see how we are going to combine if and functions. First start with writing if. And our logical test will be formed with an and function. So write and and let's write our logics, logic comparison. Uh, our first comparison is if the gender is a girl. So I put a quotation mark and write girl. And our second logical comparison is age is bigger than 8. So choose this one and say bigger than 8. And close my end function. Now this end function is going to return false or true. And according to this, if this returns true, I want it to write yes. And if not, I want it to write no. And close my if function. And you see this is a boy and five years old, so this returns no. And I copy and paste my options and you see the girls and bigger than age are yes. For example, this is Julia is girl and bigger than a uh, ten years old, so uh, this returns yes. If this was for example five, this will return no because end function should return all logical comparisons correct in order to return a true. So this completes the first question. Okay. The second question we are going to use the same logic, but this is a very widely used uh, comparison method. So we want to find if this uh, number is mm, larger than the lower limit and um, smaller than the upper limit. So we want to make this comparison and also this question says that if numbers is in the limits specified above then multiply the number by 10 otherwise divide by 10 you can uh, change this to anything according to your own case so let's start to write our if function and write our logical comparison i am writing and because I am going to, I have to make two comparisons for lower and upper limit. If this number is bigger than lower limit, I just fix this selection because I don't want this cell to change. Okay, my second logical comparison is going to be I choose this number is smaller than upper limit and I fix this again. And I close my end function. Now end function has completed, and I continue my if function. If this end function returns true, then I want to multiply this number by 10. Otherwise, I want to divide this number by 10. So this close our if function. And you see. 16 is in this 
uh, are not in these limits, so you divide it by 10. And I just copy and paste my formulas. And you see, 8 is in these limits, so I multiply it by 10, and so on and so forth. This is applied to all cells here. And let's go to the third question. We have products here and their stock codes. And we want to find the products which qualify. So what is the qualifying factor? The qualifying is, says that stock code is a number. Okay. And this number is bigger than zero. So in order to qualify a product, it should have a stock code, which is a number. And also this number should be bigger than, greater than zero. So for example, this is not a number, so this will not qualify. Let's see how we are going to write our fun if function. And if you remember from our previous videos, we are going to use isNumber function to check if this value is a number or not. Okay, let's write our if function again. And write our end function to make the logical comparison. First logical comparison is if this is a number. So I am going to use is number function and select this cell. This will return true or false. And my second comparison is this cell is bigger than zero. And I close my end function and I continue my if. If value is true, I mean this logical comparison is true, then write yes. So I'm going to write yes if all comparisons are true. If not, it will write no. And I copy and paste my formulas. Let's make a cross manual check. This is not a number, it returns no. And this is a number, okay, but this is not bigger than zero, so it turns no. And this seems all right. And number of products which qualify, we are going to use count if function to find the qualifying products. So let's write count if function and select our range. And what is our criteria? Our criteria is yes, in order to find the qualifying products. So we have four qualifying products. If we have a very long list, it will be very easy to use these functions. Okay, let's check our answers now. And it seems like a good job. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we are going to see how to use the if and or functions this time, the combinations. So keep following.